Hello YouTube, Victor from Everythingology, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new YouTube 6.0.11 update. So with this new update, Google finally released the uh, material design onto the YouTube app, and actually this wasn't officially released onto my phone, I had to sideload it, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to sideload it if you haven't yet gotten the update. So without any delay, let's get right into it. So before we get started, to sideload this application, you want to go to the link in the description where it says am.aptoid.com, click it and it will redirect you to this website. So once you've done that, you want to hit install Aptoid, and if you're on Google, it's going to ask you for this permissions and hit OK. So go to your notification bar and you should see it downloading, and just wait for it. Alright, when it's done downloading, you just want to click that, and it's going to direct you to this, and you want to hit next. And some of you guys, it's not going to let you install it until you check mark unknown sources. It's going to show you how to get there. Most phones allow you to get there, so you just now when you hit install, once it allows you to install, once you're already check marked and everything, you're good to go. Okay, now it's done installing. You just want to open up the app. Hit cancel. Well, that's just for me to hit cancel. But anyway, once you open up the app, you can just hit skip up here. So with this app, it also allows you to sideload other things other than the YouTube app. So if I go to my updates right now, some of these updates haven't even been yet released on the Play Store, but I could already sideload it. But anyway, you want to go to the YouTube app, just search up YouTube. Or you don't actually have to do that. You could just like go back and scroll down and it should be around here. And as you can see, YouTube 6.0.11. So you just want to hit update. And you want to hit install and wait for it to install so it's finally done installing you just want to open it up and boom it's working so you want to hit skip since I don't feel like going through that process and as you can already tell it looks completely different so when we first open up this app for the very first time, the first thing we notice is that we have this whole big red top bar. But other than that, everything is basically the same thing. Once you open up the app, you're still on the watch to watch page. And here's a screen ca screencast where you can cast the video. We still have the search bar. And then we have the settings right here, which is also the same thing. Even scrolling down, even swiping, it feels a little bit smoother. But other than that, it's basically the same thing, like I said, like twice. But anyway, when we swipe left, here's where some of the changes come. And if you can't tell the resemblance, if you look at the Google Plus app when it got its material design, it basically looks like this when you swipe left. The background is my channel art, and the profile picture is my profile picture, of course. But anyway, here we have what to watch if we're already on. And let's check out my subscription. So if you check out my subscription, what I've noticed is there's a little bit of lag. As you can see here, I guess that's like my Wi-Fi or something like that. But there's a little bit of lag here, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fixed on a software update. I'm not very sure if it's my Wi-Fi or not, but it could be. But anyway, here we have uploads, which is also the same thing here. And then we have history, same thing, a little bit smoother there. And watch later, same thing. Anyway, we have playlist here and the subscriptions. And another thing I cool to notice, when you go to somebody's channel, and as you can tell here, the top bar matches their channel art color, which is really cool. So let's check out a different person's. As you can tell, your average consumer is red and black and white. And you can see the top bar changes back to red. And another thing I cool I notice is when you search up, it, as you can tell here, it looks a little bit more flatter. So let's just search up my page here. And here's where you have the different filters. And it's more organized and there's more options. So now you could choose HD, closed captions, creative, 3D, and live. And what else have I noticed? Let's watch a video. So let's click on one of my first videos and make sure the volume is turned down all the way. But anyway, when you see here, everything looks flatter. And when I like a video, it basically looks like the same thing. And flatter, as you can tell here, looks way flatter here. And here there used to be a button where you could subscribe, I'm pretty sure. But it's not there anymore. You have to click on the channel, then subscribe, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, but when you scroll down, comment section looks the same. And when we hit here, related videos, as you can see here, there's a little bit more options. Anyway, that is really it for this video. Nothing has really changed other than a few extra features and a pretty big design change. But if you do discover any other features that I haven't mentioned, then be sure to let me know down below in the description. Other than that, I definitely recommend sideloading this app if you want. And if you don't, then just don't do it. But that is basically it for this video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave me a thumbs up down below. And also comment down below if you have any feedback. And subscribe if you'd like to see more great content like this. Bye.